everybody. Welcome back to the Renewed Homestead. I'm Ben, and boy, has it been a week. It's been a hot week. Just wanted to uh, bring you up to speed a little bit on what's going on around here. I'm just kind of walk and talk now that I've got a chance to slow down for a few minutes. Um, I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to spin around real quick here. Yeah, you can't see them, but right down by the church. Just walking down the middle of the road. Three deer. Oh, dear. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, uh, we've been a little bit absent, and I apologize for not getting videos out this week. I have been helping a friend, neighbor, with a uh, remodel on the next road over. And I told him, you know, I don't mind helping out a couple days a week or whatever. <laughs> this week it turned into four days because we were trying to get ahead of the guys that were coming in to do the texturing and the, and the, uh, you know, the seams on drywall. Yeah, I'm doing drywall. The thing I hired out on our property because I didn't want to do it. It's all good, right? So, anyway, been doing that, getting home late, and the last two nights... I actually have not got in the house and uh, hit the showers until a quarter to 10. So, yeah, sadly, I had to kind of put you guys on hold, and I apologize for that. So, anyway, um, you know we got the, the male goat. The buck. Uh, Euchre for short. I, I still call him Ukraine. I, I think that's funny, but uh, I don't know if that's going to stand. So, uh, Laverne is uh, teaching him her little tricks about slipping under the fence. So, Laverne goes out, Sissy goes out, and Euchre goes out. All uh, after it's been, I know, I know, it's been 83, 84, 85 degrees. It's been hot. It is so humid and Yes, this is coming from an Arizona native. It's hot. But anyway, uh, so chase them back in, get everybody moved. Oh, look who's there. He's actually guarding our tomatoes. It's working, working out pretty well. Yeah, knock on wood, we've not had any deer uh, get into those tomatoes right there. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, we've got the goats going on. Um, the garden is growing, but the complaint that we're hearing from a lot of people, and we've got the same issue, is our tomatoes are not ripening. They're big. They're good, good size. Our slicing tomatoes are great big. We've had two that actually got ripe enough to pick. Everything else is still sitting on the vine, not getting ripe. So I don't know what's going on, but brought you over here to the corn garden. And <laughs> these guys are supposed to be bush beans. Well, no, they're climbing beans, so I put a couple of the step-in posts in there, and they have devoured them, but hey, at least they're growing, right? And there's our corn. The tassels are starting to get brown, uh, so we should be able to pick about any time now. They're kind of small yet. We're hoping they get a little bit bigger, but everything's doing its thing in its time here. Spin you around. Look at that moon. Isn't that pretty? Just love watching the moon set over these mountains. Just, just incredible. So I'm going to back up and back around here real quick. You know, there's a lot of weeds growing in here. We've tried to keep on top of them, but at the same time, I think it's kind of tricking the deer that there's something, you know, not anything in there for them to eat. No, I thought those were deer. I was looking for you, but nope. Anyway, but yeah, we've got trombacinos, uh, it's a squash, if you don't know, and candy roasters, which are kind of like a giant oblong pumpkin. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Make amazing pies. I know we've talked about that before, but they are, they're actually, they're doing well. I'm, we're keeping our fingers crossed with the corn. Uh, on the other side over there, we actually have some okra. And it seems to be doing well, as well as all of those sweet potatoes we planted. Put a bunch of them right along the creek where the, uh, the gate is, that fencing. There we go. <laughs> I couldn't point the right way. Anyway, there's a whole bunch of them in there. I uh, figure we'll harvest some. We'll probably just leave some and see if they don't 
come back year after year, I'm hearing a lot of people actually complain, don't plant sweet potatoes because every little root will come back the following season. And I don't know if that's quite true, but where I planted them, I'll take you over here. There you go, that's the creek running this way. I am so backwards in this, but right along that side of the creek, going that way, there we go. There we go, I got it. Uh, that's where the sweet potatoes are. So we'll see how they do. I put some of those in buckets. I also put some potatoes in buckets and they're doing amazing. Uh, my daughter Hope had planted some potatoes in those grow bags and they started growing really well. And then, you know, Arizona's just been, you know, well, Arizona, it's, it's summer and it's hot. And I think, I think between the heat and too much water or not enough water, I don't know how well they're gonna do for her, but Hey, she's trying. Kudos, kid. <laughs> so, let me see. Let's walk on down here. You saw the pictures of the cute little ducklings? Mm-hmm. You don't believe this. That's them standing there, right against the water, heading this way. Yeah. They're not so little anymore. Ducks grow so super fast. It's crazy. But, hmm. It's a good thing, though. And let's see. Um, more trombuccinos, more candy roasters. And as you can see, the sun is setting in our fair sky. So uh, I guess that's about it. I, you know, just wanted to, uh, you know, let you know that uh, we're still alive and well and just been super busy and super warm and you know i already had a shower after we got done working today came out here and then of course uh euchre decided to bolt out and ran right up and i had to move him so oh man i wish you guys could have smell of vision Ugh, stinks <laughs> he really stinks <laughs> he's adorable but he stinks but so anyway, I guess we'll be taking a second shower here in a short while. But, all right. Um, so it is nearly the end of August. There is still time to plant comfrey. So we do have comfrey root at our website. If you're going to want to get one of those hoary hoary knives, they are limited edition. We have, you know, if you put in your order now, we got enough to supply it to you. But um, got that. We have our, you know, deodorant, all natural, and... 85 and sweaty all week, and it's it's held up very well. And of course, we've got rooting hormone. But anyway, enough of the infomercial, right? Get on to it. Um, anything else? Uh, I guess that's all you're going to get for today. But we'll try to get more videos out to you. And it's in shorter shorter time span. But please accept our apology. And you know, as always, we're praying for you, and and we appreciate your prayers as well. And and. Uh, just hope you're having a, a great week, and so take care, and God bless, and we'll uh, see you all on the next video. Bye, everybody.